What's up, guys? Back here with another video, and I want to give my final prediction to UFC 269, Charles Oliveira versus Dustin Poirier. And in the cool main event, we have Amanda Nunes taking on Juliana Pena. I think, again, both fights are going to be amazing. Um, you know, there's not much to talk about when you have four fighters there. That It's going to be a phenomenal night. You know, the main card is, is, is tight. And even the prelims are great as well. Um, yeah, guys, you guys know what's up. Make sure to please hit the subscribe button. Ring that bell to get all notifications. And uh, let's get right into it. So, in the home event, first up, I want to talk about Amanda Nunes and Juliana Pena. Juliana Pena um, has a great wrestling and jiu-jitsu-based um, fighting style. Uh, her striking, I think, leaves a little more to be desired, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, Amanda Nunes, arguably one of the greatest women of all time, the GWOT, both double champ. Um, I feel like she should win this fight, uh, and it should be most likely to uh, keep the fight standing. Um, even if it goes to the ground, it's not like she's... Uh, Nobody on the ground, you know, Nunes knows what to do when she gets on the ground. But I, I think she would like to keep the fight standing. It's like the easier route for her is to keep the fight standing. And for Juliana Pena, she needs to get this fight down to the ground. And and pray to God that Amanda hasn't worked on, you know, defending that really well and keeping the fight standing. Because then it will be a very long night for Juliana Pena if this fight stays standing, you know. Um, I think the keys to victory for Juliana is to get the fight to the ground and wear out Amanda Nunes and then try to finish her or look for a ground and pound, you know. But if this fight stays standing, I think that Amanda Nunes is going to win either by knockout or by decision. You know, you guys let me know in the comment section down below uh, who you think is going to win and how. I would like to know. And uh, on to the main event, we have Charles Oliveira, Dustin Poirier, two guys who have taken the most, you know, had so many fights in the UFC to get to where they are now. Um, Charles Oliveira had his up and down, you know, now lightweight champ ever since Habib Nurmagomedov retired. Um, Dustin Poirier, he's been through the ringer too, you know. He beat, finally beat Conor, and then he fought Conor again after that. You know, unfortunately, Conor broke his leg and whatnot. But, um, yeah, both guys are in a great position. Um, for Dustin Poirier, I feel like it's, you know, he has to keep this fight standing. I think his boxing is crisper than Charles Oliveira. Um, I think if he gets to the ground, Charles is definitely going to win. So I think, again, he's a victory for, for Dustin to me is to keep the fight standing. You know, I don't see Mar I don't see really Dustin trying to go for a takedown and play the game down there with Charles Oliveira, who Charles again champ. Um, I th I feel like his jujitsu is so much better than uh, Dustin Poirier, and uh, you know the hands. It might be a gap. Who knows? We'll see on Saturday night if there is. But I think for Charles Oliveira, I think he's gonna try to get this fight to the ground. You know, he knows Dustin's a very hard-hitting uh, person at lightweight. I think he's going to want to get it to the ground because I would if somebody hits as hard as Dustin Poirier. And for Charles Oliveira, I think it's very simple. You know, use the wrestling, use the jiu-jitsu, wear out Dustin Poirier a little bit. You know, take some steam off the punches. You know, but I think if, if it goes later and if it gets to the ground, I think Charles can win by... Uh, a submission, especially later. Um, if not, then I would say Charles by by decision. And I and I want Dustin Poirier to win because I think that would be a great favorite tale story for him. You know, I mean, he won the interim title and whatnot, but then he got outworked and dominated by Habib Nurmagomedov in the wrestling department, which is, you know, obviously, you know, Habib is a top-notch wrestler. You know, so it is what it is when it comes to that. But, um, yeah, I feel like Dustin definitely needs to get the fight standing because if not, super long night, you know. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section what do you guys think below. Make sure to hit the like button. 
Ring that bell to get all notifications. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.